Today we're going to talk about Kernel Popper, the microwave popping device. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick review about the Kernel Popper silicone microwave popping contraption, whatever you want to call it. Um, we picked this, this thing up. Uh, we don't really eat popcorn here as a low carb keto carnivore person, uh, but our family isn't, isn't low carb like we are. So uh, we, we have this thing as an alternative for snacks for the kids and so on and so forth. And uh, it's a pretty popular thing these days. Uh, within the shopping world. People love popcorn. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but the popcorn aisle has like, and they have their own aisle now in the supermarket. Um, used to be just like a smart food and a couple other like lame brands. And now there's 5 billion different brands of popcorn. And we suspect it's that way because it's a high profit margin, addictive food that people can't stop eating. It's really uh, one of those things, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, we picked this thing up and it's a real simple process. Uh, you pop the, the, the little hood or pop the little, <laughs> I don't know what the hell you want to call it, little bowl. Pop the bowl up and uh, you put a half a cup of um, kernels in. You don't, you can do it dry. You could do it with butter. Uh, you could do it. We used uh, coconut oil because we think that's probably one of the best cooking oils next to um, lard. Uh, we don't really like using the vegetable based oils for anything. Um, you should read, do your research and look into vegetable oils. They're really just bad. They're toxic. They're the worst thing ever. Um, so you put your half a cup of your, your kernels in. I sp sprinkle some oil, throw some salt in there cover it up, stick it in the microwave. And everybody's microwave varies. You have to experiment to find out which um, time and power setting works for you. Uh, we don't even know what, what's perfect for our microwave because we don't use it that often. But in this case, I put it in at 70% power and I started out at three minutes and it didn't start popping uh, until two minutes in and then you know, you have to listen to it. It's not the same as microwave popcorn, which is really awful because God knows what kind of chemicals they use on that microwave induction surface, whatever you call that gray chemical they put on there to uh, absorb more heat, or whatever it does. But in my case, uh, it, it took about four minutes and 40 seconds to pop fully. And, you know, I tasted it. I, I, you can't help it. And it's, I, tr I put it in a bowl and I think I maybe ate a cup or so of popcorn, maybe two cups. And that's uh, eight, eight, eight grams of carbs, two cups. So it's, uh, but the thing really works, okay? If you have kids and you want to just make, give them some, uh, like a treat that's not uh, processed, um, or GMO or whatever, whatever these snacks kids eat these days. I think it's a pretty decent and entertaining snack, for, especially for tiny little mouths. I think it, they love it. It, it tastes good and uh, for them, I mean, popcorn tastes good. It's just you can't stop eating it. You become a monster. You, you just can't stop eating it. But this Colonel Popper um, device works pretty good. It's cheap. I think it's 15 bucks on Amazon. There's like 8 million different Chinese competitors for all these brands. We, we're just talking about the Kernel Popper, but they're all the same. They're made of silicone, they have a cover, and that's that. I think uh, for anybody that enjoys popcorn would like having this in their rotation. Um, still the best way is over the stove. Um, one of those uh, stainless steel poppers. That, that's the real way to do it. But if you don't feel like making a giant mess, this is a good thing to have. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. We'll be back soon. Hit the like and subscribe. We'll be back soon with another video.